Hi, this is Jay Arthur, and welcome to Breakthrough Improvement with Excel. In this section, we're going to focus on reducing defects. Now, I think we can all agree that companies make way too many mistakes and errors and defects. Uh, get a computer reboots, a patient, you know, complications. Uh, all kinds of things can go wrong. And so what we want to do is find ways to eliminate those defects. And that's entirely possible using Microsoft Excel. And in our first step, we want to narrow our focus. So we want to take some data in Excel and use that to narrow our focus to the key thing that we can really fix. You know, because everything isn't broken. It's usually some isolated part of some part of your system that's not working that's causing most of the defects. And so then after that, we're going to do some improvement. We're going to do some root cause analysis, figure out what's wrong, try some stuff out, and then verify that we've actually made an improvement. Once you make an improvement, you have to sustain the new level of performance. And if you don't do that, you're going to fall back into disarray, just as you did before. And then we want to honor the team for making some progress. This is how we continue to reinforce this ongoing improvement process in a business. So the first step is we want to use some tools in Excel to summarize data. And very often we find that there's lots of line-by-line -line ginormous data sets in companies. And we can use Excel pivot tables to take that complicated bunch of stuff and summarize it into something we can actually chart, plot, and so on. Now the first thing we want to do is chart this as a control chart which shows over time how are we doing, how many defects are we having per day, right? How many patient falls in a hospital, how many uh, dropped calls in a call center. You know, all of these things are mistakes and errors. And a control chart will tell us if we're consistent and predictable or not. Now the reason we want to use this is because in the sustain phase we're going to have to use the same control chart to monitor and make sure we stay at this new level of performance. Now the next tool we're going to use is called a Pareto chart. And a Pareto chart, we're going to categorize the types of defects and go, okay, what's the biggest contributor? What's the most common type of thing that's causing our problem? And let's figure out how to fix that one thing. It's not that the others aren't important, but let's narrow our focus, fix one thing at a time. And as we do that, we'll systematically eliminate defects from our process. The next tool is we're going to ask the five whys. We're going to do root cause analysis. And we can capture that on a cause and effect or Ishikawa diagram. And you can draw these in Microsoft Excel as well. And then we want to compare our before and our after. Using the control chart, we want to show that we've reduced the level of defects. All right, good is reduced, right? Smaller, fewer, non-existent would be perfect, right? So we have to verify that we've made an improvement. Uh, if we don't verify, it's very likely we'll just fall back into our old ways of performing. And then we're going to sustain the improvement. So we're going to monitor this ongoing with the control chart showing the new data. And so if we start to drift out of control, right, if we start to lose whatever we were doing, right, we can put in some corrective actions to get back to our normal uh, new level of performance. And I can tell you without this, it doesn't matter how good you are at improving, you will simply slide back into your old ways of doing things. And then we want to honor our progress, right? And it can be very simple things that we reward teams with, from popcorn parties. Uh, I've even seen people go as far as giving them a, uh, a letterman's jacket, if you will. So we make the QI macros for Excel. And these are affordable tools for breakthrough improvement in Microsoft Excel. You can find out more about them at www.qimacros.com. And if you want to learn more about how to make breakthrough improvements in Excel using the QI Macros, go to biqixl.com and learn more. We have lots of videos to describe each one of these steps, pivot tables, control charts, histograms, Pareto charts, fishbone diagrams, and so on. So take some time, learn how to make dramatic improvements and sustain them forever in your company.